Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. Today is Sunday, the day I'm filming this, and we have like a fun little Sunday fun day for us in our 30s. We have had an absolutely chill to the max weekend. We went out on Thursday night, which you saw with our friends, and then we just like felt like garbage on Friday. It was just like not fun. Got all of our stuff done and everything was fine, but it was just like, we just need some downtime to recover. It's just the older we get, the less inclined we are to like go out and get drinks and stuff, but it's like fun, but like, is it worth it afterwards, you know? And I feel like a lot of people who are watching this who are in their 30s or 40s or whatever can probably relate. Anyway, so we decided on Saturday morning we were gonna continue our like weekly, every weekend hiking club thing. We did do that and actually we improved our time, didn't we like by five minutes or something? Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, like I think we climbed the mountain in like five less minutes, which is great. We stopped probably the same amount of times, but I did feel like we're getting stronger, so that's really good. And then we absolutely chilled the rest of the day. We did nothing. We played undercooked, overcooked. Is it overcooked? Overcooked, yeah. yeah for many hours and we just chilled and it was great. So now it's Sunday, we're gonna do a little bit of a reset. We need to clean our apartment. Drew's actually going out of town this week and I have stuff going on this week. So we need to like clean, reset, uh, grocery shop. I need to pay my estimated taxes today. I have to do some work stuff. So anyways, long unnecessary context as per usual. Yep, that's me. But we just got dressed and we are heading to, I think Alfred to get some coffee first. We're gonna go on a little walk. I'm wearing my fun, sweatshirt that I thrifted I think in probably 2018 and it says 100% grandpa the man the myth the legend love it my thrifted PBR hat and my pink sunnies anyway let's go first of all we just watched a motorcycle cop pull over two different people. He was just finishing up pulling someone over and we heard him talking about, you can go online, you gotta go to traffic school, this and that. We were like, damn, that's a shitty way to start a Sunday morning. And then he just got someone else. And they were going through a light. So I was like, did they run the light? No, the light hadn't even turned red yet. So I don't know, he's on a mish. But anyways, I tried something different today. I tried, I usually get an iced oat milk latte, but I think I heard a few months ago that Alfred carries macadamia milk. So I did an iced macadamia decaf latte. We're gonna mix her up. I've never had, well, actually we had that in Hawaii a few years ago, right? In like 2018, 2019, something like that. We had some sort of like macadamia latte. So we'll see what it's like. Taste test. Oh God. <gasps> Spread my nail. Let's give her a try. Uh oh. I absolutely hate it. I, try it. I knew I should have gotten oat milk. I'm gonna put simple syrup in it, I think. It's not bad, it's just, it's like giving nothing, you know? It's almost like when you put almond milk, like there's no mm -hmm. creaminess to it. Unfortunately, that's a three out of 10 for me, but it's okay. Okay, I did in fact pay for a second coffee <laughs> so that I could get my usual. And unfortunately I threw that other one away because it was gross, but we're good now. Crisis averted. All right, we're home from our walk. It's like 11 now. We were gone for like an hour and a half probably. It was lovely, went to the park, got some coffee and just chilled. So now we're home, made ourselves some protein shakes just as like a little bit of a snack, protein smoothies, so that we don't go to the grocery store hungry because we are gonna go to Trader Joe's today for the first time in like a couple weeks. Or at least the first time I've filmed it in a while actually, since probably Vlogmas. So we just finished folding up our laundry. We're gonna put that away. We gotta make our bed and then we're gonna head to Trader Joe's. I know a lot of you, I actually posted a thing on Instagram. Like, what do you, what do you wanna see more of in 2024? Like what kind of content, etc. And like so many of you, put Trader Joe's hauls, which I found fascinating because I love Trader Joe's, but maybe it's because you live in places where there isn't Trader Joe's, so you like to see it. So I'm trying to show more things like that. So anyway, let's put the laundry away first and then hit the, hit the store. All 
right, it's that time. It's time for a Trader Joe's haul. First one of the season. What did we get this time? We actually did a smaller grocery order delivery uh, yesterday, but these were just like a few random things. So we have most of our meals and stuff, but okay. For today, we got some bananas. We need to freeze those for our morning smoothies. Got some strawberries to have with my yogurt parfaits. Got some mini cucumbers. These are called cukes with a Q. It's so cute. And we're gonna um, make these into like a Japanese style cucumber salad. Um, we got some green beans. We got, this is called almond chipotle dip and it's a smoky and spicy plant-based dip and spread. I have a feeling this is supposed to be like Trader Joe's answer to the bitchin' sauce, like their version of bitchin' sauce. So we'll see about that. We got some Mexican style cheese. We put that in like our eggs and stuff. I got one of these protein palettes. It has Parmesan cheese crisps, um, roasted salted almonds, and Italian dry pepper uncured salami. Just for like a little snack. I got a couple of these salad bags because Drew's gonna be out of town and so it's nice to just have these to throw like some chicken on and eat um, while he's gone. So we have a sesame crunch chopped salad kit and a southwestern chopped salad. So those are nice and easy. We got the unexpected cheddar cheese. This stuff is amazing. I love this. It almost has like a like a parmesan -y kind of flavor and I love it. Got some more salami. I love mixing these two with like a little jam or a honey. Wow, perfect bite. We got a couple different things to try. We got these Chinese style pork buns. We got a green chili chicken bowl. I got this for lunch. I think you just like put it on top of rice or maybe it already has rice, but it's just like green chili chicken cheese, etc. Got some bacon, some jasmine rice. This is like the easiest quick four minutes or three minutes in the microwave and you have perfect rice ready to go and I love it. We got a vegan Thai green curry. I don't know, but I thought for lunch again, that would be nice. Drew got this uncured pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl. <laughs> it looks pretty good, honestly. You probably hate it. We got some salmon to make our salmon bowls because is anyone else doing the Emily Mariko salmon bowl still in 2024? Because I am. I like it. We have hot Italian sausage to make this pasta that we really like. And then we got a shaved beef steak to do like um, gyudon, which is like a Japanese beef <laughs> egg rice dish or maybe like a curry or something like that. So that's nice that they have shaved beef there because usually you have to go to like H Mart or something to get it, which we love doing, but it's just a little further away. Okay, next we're using one of our little bags that we got in the mystery pack. So we have the Atlanta bag here. And actually the cashier was like, where did you guys get those? And we were like, oh, it was like in a mystery pack. And he was like, can I take the tag off of them? Because it looks like you stole them. We were like, oh, sorry. We have the other two here. We have the, what is it? Indiana and Idaho. Cute. You the ho. <laughs> All right, we got these white cheddar puffs. These are like uh, pirate's booty, if you ever had it. And our friends had these at their house when we were there on New Year's Eve, and we ate so many of them, and Drew has become obsessed. We got the sour cream and onion flavored ones last time, which were really good, but white cheddar is better. Drew got this cinnamon bun inspired kettle corn. Oh, that sounds yeah. amazing. You want it now? Yeah. Drew got his happy juice. Nobody, nobody panic. He got his happy juice. He's back there going. Um, we got some peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Those are always so good. Um, what else? We got some soy sauce. Would we prefer to get our soy sauce from Trader Joe's? No, but like sometimes you just need it. We got some honey because we have our honey from the Cotswolds, but it crystallized over winter break because I think we just like left our AC or our heat off when we were gone. So we're gonna need to like work on that, but in the meantime, we need like a drizzleable honey. Anyway, I got some fruit leathers. These are my favorites. We have apple wildberry, apple raspberry, and apple strawberry. Delicious. Oh, I'm just trying the... Mmm. <laughs> are they good? Yeah. Delicious. Tasty. We got some crystallized ginger. He enjoys that a lot. Just he eats it as candy, but also it's good. It's it's it does candy. 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 I'm not hating. Got these lightly coated dark chocolate almonds. These are like those, um, I think they're called skinny dipped. And they look really good. They're dipped in a thin layer of dark chocolate and have cocoa and sea salt. Now, I want to try these. And then last but not least, we got the dark chocolate 
peanut butter cups. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they look the same. Let's try one. Delicious. So that's our Trader Joe's haul. Nothing too crazy, but thought I would show you regardless. And I always forget to show the flowers, but we did also get flowers, so I'm gonna try to arrange these in some fancy way. I see like so many people, like my friend Morgan Yates, her flower arrangements are amazing. And then she'll make this like incredible one, and she's like, it is my best work. And I'm like, oh, that's better than anything I could ever do. So wish me luck. get this freaking thing fixed. Hopefully this won't take too long. Also, this is the most typical Southern California day. Like, it's absolutely miserable, cloudy, awful until like 1 p.m. and then it's perfect sunshine. Love it. All right, that literally took nine minutes, the actual nail appointment itself. Got the nail all fixed, we're good, crisis averted. Now, I am getting my nice, lovely cleaning gloves on. You can probably hear Drew vacuuming in the background because it's time to clean this place up. We haven't cleaned, I think, since before we left for Arizona, so it's time. Anyone's wondering if we still use the shower brush. We do. The only thing that's annoying about it is that it's just difficult to rinse with our particular shower. I think we might get a shower head that has like a detachable hose, but it works so good. Also, I just realized that probably a lot of you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, that's a main channel reference. So on my main channel, I tested out a bunch of like viral TikTok products, and one of those was like this spinning shower brush. And I actually really like it. Okay, it is much later. We finished our cleaning. We are just taking a little break. Our internet is out at the moment, which is frustrating, but it's also forcing us to do other things. But we want to play Undercooked, Overcooked. Why do I keep calling it that? We want to play our game, but unfortunately, we have to live in the real world at the moment. So I am exhausted. <laughs> We've been going nonstop for hours now, but there's more to do. So we started watering our plants. I just realized I need to water that one. I also have a couple little things to do. Like I need to change our shower filter. I bought like this shower head filter thing um, that's supposed to be better for your hair. I got extensions probably like a year ago and the person who did my extensions told me to buy that and use it and it just helps filter the water. So I need to do a replacement for that. We need to clean our ice maker thing. Um, you do have to clean it like once a month, I think. So that's how often we do it anyways or maybe once every few weeks but um just when the cleaning light comes on is when we clean it so we have to like take that all apart clean it out so there's a couple more things to do but i'm feeling good i just actually took a break and filmed a main channel video and i'm not gonna give anything away but i did just put together something quite exciting um but i'm gonna do another video where i'm testing a bunch of like products that are popular on the internet. So that'll be coming out soon. I'm also really proud of myself because I reached out to a graphic designer and an editor this morning. And I'm just trying to outsource as much as I possibly can to save my space and my brain for other creative things. And I'm so, so excited. I hope that it works out with both of them. I'm feeling really hopeful. So that feels great. And now, yeah, we have some more things to do, so. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna do the shower filter first. The one that I used, by the way, is called Sprite. I think it's called Sprite. Oh, here it is. Sprite showers. So there you go, I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. So you just remove this top part. And then the water goes through all these like minerals and things. And it comes out the other side, which I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And then that's where it filters through, I believe. So, okay, let's try it out. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try my best. Should probably take off. 
my socks for this. Okay, I got it. Okay, so here is like the actual filter part and then that's just my shower head, which actually sucks. I need a new one, but I believe you just unscrew this top right here. Oh, I thought that was gonna help. It made it worse. Every other part is unscrewing except this. There we go. Beautiful. Yikes, okay. It even shows on the package like you can see when it needs to be replaced if it's like a lighter color or a darker color. And this is very dark. You can see that this one is much lighter. At least you can see it in person. So you just do this and then this and that's it. And then I think there's also a dial on the actual filter thing that shows like when you change the filter last in case you forget, you can just look at it. So I changed it in January and then you just screw your shower head back on and you're ready to go. Perfect. Fresh, clean hair. Hard water's not gonna get me. Then it says to just run it on the hottest water for at least a minute. All right, let's keep this productivity going. Now we are going to clean the ice machine like I mentioned. Can you even see that? It's in the dark. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so in order to not waste this ice, we're gonna get it in this bowl and half of it on the ground. And then we're gonna wash out all these little bits, so. I'm gonna wash out. Cool, you can't see me, love that. We're gonna clean out the side water tank and then we're gonna clean out the actual ice tank. Then you take the hose from the back and you run it like into the sink and then you run it with a mixture of vinegar and water and then it just you know, descales it. You can also sanitize it once, I think a month and run bleach through it and then just really clean these out very well with hot soap and water. Buy old water. All right, we finished it. It is all done, nice and clean. It's gonna make some new ice on top of the ice that we saved. And uh, I feel myself getting very, very tired. I've been going nonstop. It is 3.43. It's just time to relax, you know? I feel the ADHD mask slipping a little bit, which just basically means I'm about to have a stone cold face and just need to like scroll on my phone or read or something like that. So I will check in with you guys maybe tomorrow or later today, we'll see. All right, it is the next day, two days later. It is like 9 p.m. Um, I'm on the couch getting ready. I have all my skincare done, but I still need to do my like dental routine. But um, I have just had the weirdest 24 hours, it's been so strange. So after you saw those, all the clips from this vlog, I went to bed that night, probably around, probably fell asleep honestly, like just before 10 and I've been reading at night. So it's just been really relaxing and helping my mind unwind. And I genuinely think it's helped with my sleep. I don't know if it's like a placebo thing, but I really do feel like it's helped me. And so I was reading my book, fell asleep, I woke up at like 12.30 or one o'clock in the morning to some sounds outside and then I fell back asleep around 1.30, 2 o'clock, something like that. And then I had been back asleep for like an hour and I must have had like a, a bad dream. I remember having a dream and in my dream, I was losing control of my body, which is one of my biggest fears. So I guess you would call that a nightmare. I just thought I'd mention this in case anyone else has like experienced something like this. But anyways, like one of my biggest fears is losing control of my body, you know, having a seizure, passing out, throwing up, all these different things. And so I had a dream that like, I was like, something's wrong. And like everything just started feeling really weird. It was almost like a horror movie. And I was like, something's not right. Something's not right. And then like, I just like fully lost control of my body. And then I woke up. So it was like a few seconds. And I remember like, laying down on the couch and I was at me and Drew's old, old, old house that we lived in in like 2017 and in this dream and it was weird and like Layla was in the dream and so I don't know if that had something to do with it and I still have some like unresolved stuff but I just like laid down on the couch and then I like fully lost control of my body. My entire body went like rigid and I woke up from the dream and I was like hyperventilating and that's never really happened before and I think it might have just been that like I was having this dream and something like bad was happening. And so in my dream, I was like, <laughs> but I woke up and like, as soon as I woke up, I wasn't, I could breathe fine. Like I, I definitely think it was the dream, but I've never had this happen before. My like limbs felt numb. 
Like, it was very, my arms and my legs, like, felt numb. And I was like, is, was this a night terror? Was this, like, sleep paralysis? No, because I was awake and I could move. And I remembered, like, quickly trying to, you know, move my arms and my legs because I was, like, scared I was going to lose control of them or something. It was so bizarre. And, like, I think it was just a nightmare. But it scared me so bad. I don't know why. I was convincing myself in the middle of the night because like I was, you know, asleep and just woken up out of like the deepest sleep ever. It convinced me that like something was wrong and that I did have like a seizure or some sort of like episode and I know I didn't. Um, but it just was like so scary. I don't know how to describe the fear that I felt in that moment. It was so bizarre, probably because I was still like half asleep. But I was afraid to go back to sleep. So I stayed up until like 6 in the morning. Like, and I would be sitting there like trying to fall asleep. And I was like, Ugh, and I was forcing myself to stay awake. Because I was like scared it was going to happen again. And then I woke back up the next morning. And I was telling Drew what happened. And I was literally like crying as I was telling him what happened. Like, I was still so scared the next morning. And then I went to bed last night. And the same thing, like I was like fighting back tears because I was so afraid to fall asleep because I was like afraid it was going to happen again. It was so weird. And I have had nighttime panic attacks before. This was not that. However, the entire next day, I think just like, I don't know, it just shocked my system or something. And I was feeling waves of like panic during the day. It was so bizarre. And I haven't had anxiety like that in probably a decade. You know, I don't really get that much anxiety anymore, especially not just like sitting at home or doing whatever. So that was really weird and it just like totally threw me off so i didn't pick the vlog back up and that's kind of what i'm getting at it was just so bizarre and yeah i mean after talking it out and talking with drew talking with my mom blah 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 i do think it was just like a bad dream and it just triggered some weird response because like all day today i felt completely normal but it was just so weird i was like what the hell was that this is really scary. <laughs> I'm also a big baby. Like anything that has to do with my body and feeling out of control or that something might potentially be wrong. I am like on WebMD. I'm searching for everything. I'm assuming that I have everything. So, I mean, it's fine, but it just really threw me off my game. But today I'm feeling much better. So, you know, we can end this vlog on a good note. It was just so bizarre. I was like, I have to share this because maybe someone else has had this happen before where it was just like a bad dream apparently that just threw me off for like a full 24 hours it was wild so let's hope that doesn't happen again what the hell the only thing i can think of is that i've been taking this supplement for my SIBO it's like kind of a more natural supplement because i've tried the antibiotics and they just like don't work and so i was like trying to take this supplement so like maybe it, it, one of the things is like it gives you weird dreams but i haven't heard of that so i have no idea my dad asked me if I'd had chocolate right before bed and I said well yeah I had a chocolate pudding and he was like that was it and I was like but I've had chocolate pudding like every night before bed or chocolate milk or whatever so I have no idea crazy but all good now usually when some random thing happens somebody's like yes that happened to me and I'm like whoa we're none of us have original experiences anymore and I think that's good it helps us you know all relate to each other so Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this nice little weekend reset and random story time at the end. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you very soon in the next one. Good night.